Hi and welcome to day 23 of 101 days of winter. Start off showing you my shirt. It's an I wrestled a bear one shirt. It's one of the horror ones. So today's movie is Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Forgetting Sarah Marshall is one of those films where if it came out after my last relationship I would have been a fucking wreck watching it. But luckily enough I already saw it before. So yay. Silver linings. But for the most part like a lot of people have assumed Jason Siegel isn't funny. But forgetting Sarah Marshall was very funny. So maybe I just don't see the unfunniness that some people do. Um Mila Kunis speaking Japanese was definitely a ooh something rising in beneath me kind of moment. Um And I guess cheating on Mila Kunis with Kristen Bell, while Kristen Bell is a very attractive lady, after the, sh the shit that you went through with Kristen Bell, or Kristen Bell's character, no way in hell you'd go back from Mila Kunis. Meg's a hot piece of ass, and her character was very well-rounded. Um, it brought Russell Brand to the attention of a lot of people outside of the UK, for better or for worse, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm a fan of the movie. So there it is, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. That's today's movie. I'm going to briefly talk about today a topic that I have haven't mentioned that much until yesterday. But, it's basically bringing international sports to Australia. Now, I kind of mean that in the... They're bringing out the opening day to Australia. Um, the Dodgers versus the Diamondbacks. And they're charging... The cheapest ticket is $69. Now, that's $69. Now, it's going to be ticket tech. So, it's going to be at least... $80 for your ticket, including all the fees. $80 for the cheapest possible ticket. Now, earlier, since I don't know how long it's been on sale, I think it's been in January, they're trying to bring out the ice hockey here, Canada versus the United States. The cheapest possible ticket is $80. That's not including the fee. So you're looking at about $90 for the cheapest possible ticket. Now, when Manchester and when Liverpool have come out here, they've offered the cheaper tickets. Now, those cheaper tickets have obviously gone fast. All the tickets went fast. But these two sports, which don't have quite the fan base that soccer does here because soccer is a world game and I'm not calling it football to make everybody happy it's soccer to me it always will be soccer to me go F yourselves if you really want to have it take umbrage with the fact that I call it soccer but soccer is a world game so Manchester or Liverpool coming out here they could make $200 tickets, and people are going to buy those $200 tickets. But, when ice hockey comes out here, and most people that follow ice hockey, and baseball, and if, when the same thing happens with happened in the past, and might happen in the future with the NFL, people have teams. People support teams. Now, if you don't follow the teams that are coming out here, you're less likely to spend the amount of money that you would have spent if it was your team. See, if Boston was come out here, and with the tickets being as in the, the Red Sox, 
or if the Indians came out here, which are my two baseball teams, if they came out here and the tickets were $69 to $499, I would be spending, I would be getting a very expensive ticket because they're my teams. But these two aren't my teams. So really I'm going just to enjoy a Major League Baseball game in Australia. I'm a neutral. So, the fact that your cheapest possible ticket is $70 makes me go, well, go fuck yourselves. I'm not paying $70, which will be, end up being $80, for the cheapest possible ticket at the SCG, where I might not be able to see shit, because you're charging too much. Because one of the benefits, or one of the basically, one of the reasons when you when you bring these kind of sports to Australia, you need to have a cheap ticket. Because a lot of people are going to be like, let's go check it out. Do you know how many people are going to go, let's go check it out if the cheapest possible ticket is $70? I mean, even the ice hockey, cheapest possible ticket, I think it ended up being going up to about 350 was the most expensive ticket for ice hockey. And ice hockey's been on sale for a long time. It's not even close to selling out, and it's later this month. Because people took one look at the price and went, No. No. I'm not going to be spending that. So, one of the things... Even though this is most of my videos get less than five views, if you come out to this country and you're bringing your sport, you have to have something for the the average person, the average person who doesn't follow the, those teams, who who follow the sport but doesn't follow the teams, because I know people that have seen the baseball in the states and it's the bleachers and they're nine dollar tickets, nine dollars. I'm not expecting $9 tickets here, but I'm expecting something around about the $30, the $40 mark minimum. I mean, Liverpool came out here and had $25 tickets. Now, they went obviously very fast, but $25 tickets. They had something for the people who don't have a lot of money. Baseball coming out here with $70 minimum price tickets? It's not going to work for you guys. People are going to hold out, and maybe, like, I'm going to be holding out and hoping that they don't sell out, because you've picked to have two games here. So you think you're going to sell out the SCG twice with 70 to $500 tickets. Good luck. So if you... For just for future reference, for American sports or just sports that are out there, you have to have a cheaper ticket. You just do. Ice hockey is learnt the hard way that you can't just go, Hey guys, it's ice hockey in Australia, and it's an international thing. It's like all the really good players there, so it's not just the, the Australian Ice Hockey League that we have here, which is actually not too bad. But... You can't just go and expect people to rock up and pay that amount of price. <laughs> so, if you've seen the video, the video of my exercise bike before, you will have known the I purchased a new exercise bike because the old one died. It was not to my satisfaction, so I purchased a new thing where I can put on a table, work on my arms, and put it on the the floor and sit on the couch and ride there if I want to do any low intensity. Well, the couriers that were, uh, that are supposed to send it from the place forged my signature and didn't deliver it. So that's where I am at the moment. I can't help but laugh because it's just, I've had nothing but trouble.
with trying to lose weight, getting a new exercise bike, and this. Can't help but laugh. So to continue on from my last bit, I got a thing from Dealers Direct. Thank you for your patience. I have checked with Fastway Courier. They are unable to verify the delivery of your consignment at this time. They have requested the Courier franchise return to the delivery address to verify with the receiver that they are possession of this consignment. Please be advised that this process can take up to 48 hours. I will be in contact with you as soon as further information becomes available. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. So they're going to come here, either make up some bullshit that they delivered it, left it at the door, which I don't have it, or I don't know. Long story short, this isn't going to be ending very anytime soon, so happy weekend indeed. Long story short, either avoid fast away couriers or just avoid dealsdirect.com.au. Happy weekend. Well, that's it for me today. Um, hope you have a good day. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day till Ben comes, but see you tomorrow.